doing great. No, we're done. I'm sorry, but if I can't beat you, how am I gonna beat her army? Wow, you really like to give up. I know you think you know more, but I have my share of experience too. I know about battles that can't be won. And right now, the best hope for me, and more importantly, my mother, is survival. Wow, I was wrong. You really, really like to give up. I like to survive. It isn't living. It's actually the definition of living. I was naive. I went through this with my sister. Scary things happen, and she did what you're doing. She hid. But the way she hid was by running away. She thought that was the solution to her problem, but it wasn't. She needed a push, like you, to see that surviving isn't living. And you gave her that push. I almost died doing it, but yeah, I did. And if you become Bo Peep's slave, you'll be doing the same thing. I'll lose everything if we fight. You'll lose more if you don't. Let me be the judge of what loss I can take. Stop being so stubborn. You don't know anything about loss. You're just afraid of it. Oh, I don't, do I? If you did, you wouldn't act this way. Loss is exactly why I'm acting this way. I think it's cowardice. I mean, well, yeah, I mean that. When I was six years old, one morning, I woke up hearing my father and mother go at it. They fought a lot. Usually over the same thing, is drinking. But this time, something was different. And I heard my father not yelling, but crying. And through the tears, he said to my mother, words I would never forget. I will beat this. He said to her, I have to be better for the boy. I have to be different. I have to stop. And he promised he would. Every few months, we needed supplies. It was a two-week journey, usually one that was a two-week bender. But he said he was leaving this time and he wouldn't touch a drop and in two weeks he would be back home himself again. Her husband, my father. We'd be a family. My mother kept the secret from me, but I knew. And every morning for two weeks, I woke with a smile on my face knowing my father would be back. So, Fourteenth day, I arose and I heard a knock at the door and I ran to open it, ready to hug my father. And I was greeted by the local constable. 